This video is about how to make eye-catchy AI thumbnail and get millions of views. Look at this thumbnail. Believe it or not, it only took me three minutes to make using Filmora AI thumbnail generator. Want to know how? Stick around because I'm gonna show you two effective methods to quickly create beautiful and viral thumbnails with AI. Let's dive in. Filmora makes thumbnail creation a breeze with its advanced AI technology. It scans your video to find the best frames, suggests the most compelling shots, and even allows you to customize the final look to match your style. Filmora makes thumbnail creation easy with its advanced AI technology. Now let's get to the main event. First, download Filmora 13. I'll provide the link in the description below, so make sure to check it out. This is your dashboard. In Filmora, you get two methods to generate AI thumbnails. We will cover both methods, and don't forget the second method is quite important. So watch the video till the end. Let's try the first method, but before creating the thumbnail, we need to understand the elements required for an eye-catching thumbnail. For this, we'll take the help of ChatGPT. However, you don't need to go to ChatGPT because Filmora has an AI copywriting feature that we will use. Simply go to AI copywriting. Here you will find many options. I'll select video oral script. Then I'll ask, how do I generate eye-catching thumbnails for YouTube videos? Give me some tips. Hit generate. The AI will give us some tips for creating eye-catching thumbnails. Tip one, high quality images. Tip two, bold and clear text. Tip three, color contrast. Tip four, focus on the subject. Tip five, test and analyze. All right, let's follow these tips. First, create a new project. Next, we'll use Filmora AI image to generate a background image. Here, I'll enter a simple prompt. Create a speed comic style background image for thumbnail. Then choose any image style from here and hit generate. Within seconds, four images will be generated. If you like any of these, you can use them. Now we have our background image. And as you know, having a face in a thumbnail makes it more engaging. So I'll import a video clip and add it to the timeline. All right, now I need to capture a perfect frame from this clip to use in my thumbnail. To do this, I'll take a snapshot of the frame by clicking on the camera icon and saving it. You'll see the snapshot saved here. I'll add this to the timeline, but first I'll delete the footage as we no longer need it. Perfect. The next step is to remove the background from this image. In Filmora, this is very easy. First, you can use the Smart Cutout tool to remove the background effortlessly. Turn on Smart Cutout, click to activate it, and brush over the object. Then simply save it you'll see the background is removed. Alternatively, you can try AI Portrait, which takes only two seconds to remove the background and is even easier. All right, now I'll zoom into the timeline. Okay, now I'll try the AI generated background. I'll simply add the background to the timeline. However, I feel that the background and the character don't match well, so I won't use it. But don't worry, Filmora offers many backgrounds that you can use for free. I found this gradient background. So I'll add it to the timeline. I, I think this matches much better now. Perfect. Then I will scale this character a bit and place it nicely in one spot. I will also add a drop shadow from here, which will look much better. All right. If you want, you can also add effects from here. You get many effects, but since I have already added the drop shadow, I will not add any effects. Okay. After this, I will go to the text. Here we have many text effects and you can use any of them. I find this one quite eye-catching, so I will download it and then add it to the timeline and place it nicely. Then I will place all the text together on the left side of the character. After that, I will replace this text with my heading. Perfect. You can lock the character and background from here so they don't disturb you. Next, I will go to stickers. Find an arrow and add it to the timeline as well. Perfect. Now our thumbnail is ready. To save it, click on the camera icon again. Take a snapshot from here and save it. So you can see that our final output looks quite good. All right, let's try the second method now, which is also quite easy. I will create a project again, and this time I will import this footage. Then go to export. Here you will see an option for a thumbnail, so I will click on edit. Now you need to capture a perfect shot for your thumbnail. This shot looks perfect, then click on edit. Now you will have a new dashboard. Here you can edit the thumbnail. You get many templates from almost every category which you can use. For example, I wanna use this template. I will just click on this template. Wow, Filmora AI has automatically removed the character's background and added an automatic stroke. Obviously, you can place it anywhere according to your preference. And if you find the stroke too thick, you can reduce the stroke size from here. 
After that, I will quickly replace the text and fit it nicely. Perfect, it looks good now. Additionally, if you want, you can add icons, images, stickers, etc. After doing all this, you can save the thumbnail or you can export it to local as well. Your thumbnail will be saved. All right. Now, you know how to create stunning eye-catching thumbnails using Wondershare Filmora's AI thumbnail generator. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.